Welcome to the trap as we are my back back lit is the out of here out of here. Any man battle rap trap and we definitely got the streets. D out again, D out of here, man. Put it on your you Shout out to the trap as we are back lit is the out of any man back with trap. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Shout out to the traps we are back to this day out of Henny Man Battle Rap Trap and we definitely got the streets. Alright, so it officially dropped all the drama out of the way, all of the bickering, all of the promo, all of the everything is out of the way. The battle officially went down three rounds out there in Cali. RBE slash Gerald McCoy presents a Ver vs. Ill Will went down. Very, very dope battle. You know what I'm saying? Now the way I grade my battles is a little bit different. I've been doing this since back in the day when I grade my battles. Number one. I don't give every single bar. If you watch the battle, then you already know the bars. And plus, there's a lot of people who already do it like that, respectfully. So I just don't want to be like everybody else. I sprinkle a couple bars in there. You know what I mean? Some of my favorites, something that popped out or whatever. But I like to get into the feel of the battle, what's going on, the energy of the battle, all of that type of stuff. And then I rank the battle at the end. I give y'all the winner. Then I give y'all the rank of between one and five. Number one being it was trash, a waste of time. Number two being do better. Number three being it was worth a watch. Number four being it was a good ass battle. Number five being it was a potential classic. Now I'm gonna get that at the end, y'all stay tuned for that. But we gonna go round by round real quick. A verb versus ill will. Let's go round one. Verb started it off. I feel like he opened with beautiful flow, energy, a slight counter angle on all of the G A Y rumors. You already know what people like to say about Verb. You know what I'm saying? I like this line right here. He said, I'm a Don Dada, you just not a lame. Little stuff like that. I know that don't matter to nobody else, but you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Little stuff like that, little light flexing like that. I really like that. You know what I mean? That's really where he starts warming up though. Then he mentioned something about Will Baby Mother, little angle. I don't know. He kind of just breezed by but I noticed it and I'm like he said he could take a lie detector test and the needle won't move so y'all go check out what he said right there and see what you think about that man don't round from verb man I feel like verbs verbal imagery no pun intended I feel like that's always dope you can literally see it it's real poetic his delivery and all that you know what I'm saying this round did end early it fell short it was about 223 but it was a good round and so you can already see what type of time verb is about to be on for this battle we'll when he opens with a Baltimore bridge line, you know what I mean? Somebody had to do it. You know what I mean? I see what Verb meant in the spaces about Will's energy. He definitely had a lot of energy. He was on Verb. He was barking in his face as well as working the room, doing the circles. Yo, I like the scene and the setting, by the way. You know what I mean? I know I've been in this room where Arvo's going around in circles and all that, and I can kind of be in that room by looking at this. I really like that. You know what I mean? It did seem like Will was projecting a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like I said, really barking on them. Both of them mentioned URL in the first round in different ways. Uh, police found Island in the kitchen like home decor. The Cynthia Cooper bar. Will is in a different bag in this room, man. He even added a little bit of struggle talking. Y'all know I like struggle talk. Beautiful closer. You know what I'm saying? So I gave Will the first. You know what I mean? I feel like this is probably the clearest round in my personal opinion. You know what I mean? I see a lot of people debating it. I see a lot of people giving Verb the first, but in my opinion, this is probably the clearest round of the battle and Will's round was longer by about two minutes. Will's round was about four minutes and 11 seconds and he used it all wisely. It wasn't a lot of dry spots or none of that. Our Verve's round was very dope but it just fell short. It wasn't enough literally. Not bar wise. He was spitting but it wasn't enough time wise. You know what I mean? All right, round two Verve opens with more dope rhyme schemes. He took a shot at the whole Pontiac then it leads to before I pass you this torch I toss it and tell you hope go get it. You know what I mean? I just like severe levels of flexing man. You know what I mean? And Verb is definitely in a position to do that. You know what I mean? I'm not, this, this is going to be a horrible analogy. You know what I mean? My girl might roll eyes at me. But Verb, it got like a Jay-Z type of battle rap vibe. You know what I mean? Like he might be like the Jay-Z of battle rap as far as the accolades that he's reached. Nobody else can say him. So when he's bragging, nobody can just go mimic what Verb does braggadocious wise. He's the only person that can say, before I pass you this torch, I toss it and tell you, ho, go get it. Because he's one of the only ones that got the torch, man. He had the real skill will, that robot style of fighting is real still will. I like that. Dope punch, decent movie, you know what I mean? Love the delivery by Verb in this joint. He turned up a little bit more, you know what I mean? You remember it was a little while when he was like, Verb, dog, stop whispering. Rock, turn up like you used to. You know what I mean? But once again, this round was short, though, you know what I mean? It was a around two minutes, 13 seconds, about the same as the first. 
which is definitely short rounds, but Verb packs so much rhymes in there, it even goes by faster than what the count is. Also makes you want to rewind, which could be a good thing or bad thing. Rewind your find is more than fine. You know what I mean? But it could leave you wanting more. You feel me? But I do got to add, though, Verb is hopping in and out of quick angles, bars, and flow with a sharp precision. You know what I mean? You got to really listen to see everything he's saying, because this leads to that, which leads to that, which leads to that, which connects the whole thing. You know what I mean? And then the round is over. I will go. He opens with a quick shot at Mickey Fax. I saw him diss Mickey on Twitter, too. So maybe that's something that got to happen in the future if Mickey still decides to put the glove. Gloves on. You know what I mean? Speaking of gloves on, Will had a gloves on bar. Gloves on, I only wear these when blood coming like period panties. Ew. That's nasty. Then Will did some alliteration using the word V. I thought it was dope. If y'all don't know what alliteration means, first of all, go back to school. Second of all, alliteration is where you use the same letter at the beginning of each word to put a sentence together. Tupac was real good at that jump. Back when he was like, paint the picture, the picture, the picture, the picture. You know what I mean? Will showing real flow pockets in this battle too, man. The parlay bar was dope. We all can relate to that. Will punch rate is definitely higher than verbs in this battle right now. Most are hitting too. I didn't love the big ass shell for walking toward us toward us. I don't know. Maybe that's the way they talk out there. Felt like a reach to me, but he's cooking, so it don't even matter. Just kept moving. This round was about 3 minutes, 55 seconds. Another longer round. This one can be debated. The punch rate can't, but the effectiveness can. You know what I mean? If you're just talking about effective angle, effective this, effective that, this angle, th this round might can be debated. I still got to edge Will in this round, though. He gave us more work, and when they both rapping at a high level, it's really a preference thing, unless something like time is a factor. And in this case, Will rounds are almost two minutes longer than verbs in both rounds so far. I don't know what was agreed upon, but I can only judge the battle as is, you feel me? All right, round three, Verb opens with a showtime. You can tell he confident in it because his voice and demeanor got a little bit darker and all that. Verb always say battle rap has demons. You can almost see the demon red come out in the beginning of the third. Like, hold up, just in case people got it confused or think I'm down or whatever, it's time. Three-minute rounds, and I do got to add that. Verb said three-minute rounds, they ain't booked me for a long time. But as of yet, none of his rounds were actually three minutes. Y'all know the slogan, though. And after the slogan, he went crazy, man. He had an easy driving E Honda bar. You know what I mean? It kind of slid through the cracks. I heard him say the E Honda bar. I was like, who is E? So I rewound a little bit, heard the easy jump. I'm like, yo, hold up. Why you throwing easy in the mix, man? Easy and Will is cool, right? Hey. We're going to get back to that. Just just remember that he had an easy ball when he put easy in the car because we're going to talk about that in Will's dirt real quick. Back to Verb. Verb had in and out of material like I'm sewing. Now Verb is punching back to back with the flow. It's brilliant for real. He said, if it's smoke, I train who train for the locomotive, not hood in words with local motives because you lose focus. Now I'm reading this, you know what I mean? I can't say it or make it flow the way he said it, but like I said, man, the way Ver Verb is almost lecturing when he's rapping. It's like a lecture, a poetic lecture or something like that. Every time he's rapping, he's kind of like teaching, rapping. I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to figure it out, man. But verbal imagery really always sticks in my head when I do a verb recap. This is Verb's longest round, man. And it's still only about two minutes and 30 seconds. So I don't know if they agreed to two minute rounds. And he just said three minutes because that's what the slogan says. Or if they agreed to three minute rounds and he was like, nah, I'm giving you, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. Now, if they agreed to three minutes or more, then I can't take no points away or even hold that into consideration when I'm looking or thinking about this battle because he chose not to write that much. If they only two minute rounds, we know RBE wasn't going to stop him. So he should have knew that Will was going to write more than two minutes and just threw a little bit of extra in the clip. You know what I mean? Now for Will's third. Will opened very strong with a New York Midwest angle. Then he said, you got a staring problem. Jesus can't take the will. I broke the staring column. I like that a lot. Then Ill Will takes a shot at Easy at the end of his third. And I got to say this. Shout out my dog, Top Floor Loot. I'm not saying nothing that ain't already out there. I saw that live. Top Floor Loot had mentioned that Easy and Ill Will might be about to battle. Ill Will took a shot that sounded very confident that Ill Will and Easy might be about to battle. So I think we might need to be looking out for an announcement real soon for that one. I have no knowledge. If I knew for a fact it was booked, I wouldn't even be saying that. Right now, that's just speculation. A one plus one don't equal three, though. You feel me? Will third was his shortest and probably his lightest round. It was about three minutes, 30 seconds. Not weak at all. Just a good close to a dope performance. You know what I mean? For me, 
the moment of the battle was probably Verb Showtime, man. You feel me? Like, it was late in the third. I already kind of had Will up to. So it's like, all right, Verb, what you going to do in this third to make this battle really feel debatable? You feel me? He did the Showtime, executed that perfectly. I feel like that might have been the moment of the battle for me. All right, when it comes down to the battle, though, I got Ill Will winning the first two. I got Verb winning the third. But all rounds could be debated. I see a lot of debate going on and all that, you know what I mean? I think Verb's timing is the main reason for the debate because it's a lot of people that want to give Verb the battle, but you kind of just can't make up for all that extra time that Will had and the fact that it was fire. It's not like he was just dry and trash in that extra time. He was spitting, you feel me? I definitely wish that Verb rapped longer. This setting is very fire for the pins. This is kind of like his rum, you feel me? So... It would have made it a way more rewatchable battle. I see some people throwing the C word on it. I can't throw the C word on it. I can't think of any classic battle with like two minute rounds. You feel me? Like unless it's tournament setting, I'm just not a big fan of that. Outside of that, everything else about this is fire. I'm going to give this battle a solid 3.5. So that's between worth the watch and a good ass battle. You know what I mean? It's really a good ass battle, but... It's a big difference in the time, and it's kind of throwing me off just a little bit. But it's definitely 100% worth a watch and probably worth a second watch, man. Good-ass job from y'all, though, man. I definitely want to say that. Shout-out to Verve for keeping on hopping in the ring after he retired and keeping Battle Rap lit. And stop cussing so much in the spaces if you're looking at this Verve because it's hard to monetize off your spaces when you cussing like you cussing, you feel me? But other than that, shout out to Ill Will. Dope performance. I feel like Ill Will about to be on a champion of the year top five run. I don't think he going for Cody or even cares about that. But I feel like with the work he's been putting in and probably possibly about to put in, he's definitely working for top five, top ten champion of the year already. That being said, let me know what y'all think about the recap. And if you saw the battle, let me know what y'all think about the battle. Hey, hey, man, happy Easter to all the trappers. I do got to say that before I go. Happy Easter to all the trappers and all y'all mamas and kids and families and, and everything, man. You feel me? I hope y'all ate good. I hope y'all had a blessed day. And I'm about to go, man. I'm about to take me a little shot, shot. And I'm about to get back into other things. You feel me? It's Battle Rap Trap. We got streets. Born in the district. Raised out in Fallsville, summers up in Baltimore, went to school in Walker Mill, moved down to Southern Maryland, made it rich without a deal. Just that DMV for real, I just got that feel. Keep it real, you've been watching and waiting, hoping and praying, practicing your opening statements. Who the fuck I think I am to get to talk like I'm famous for white people when we not around? Only the greatest, you know you a hater. So what we grew up in the same hood. I don't know you, I don't like you, you got it, okay, good. Ask the who can verify my G, the state could, it's monopoly. All business is where I stay stood. You know how I came up? Here's all the facts. Pops kicked me out and told me don't call him that. He said I wasn't outside, that's beyond just whack. Cause I was 14 living out of laundromat. I started robbing B and E, credit cards were snatched. New heater, no cereal, I start from scratch. Homie said the streets watching, so we watched them back. And we knew that we were stuck, that's why it's called the train. Shout out to the tribes, we are my back, back lit. It's we out of here, out of here, any man back.